I hear every major health influencer talking about omega-3 fish oil supplements you should be taking it daily. It can help lower your risk of her cardiovascular disease, blood clots, Alzheimer's, dementia, macular degeneration, and sudden death. And I was curious, if I take this, will I be able to be better? And if I do a blood test before and after, will I know that the omega-3 supplements that I'm taking actually change anything in my blood? And two, will I feel different, healthier, more improved, and be able to perform at my best? Because I am Shervin Shares, follow me on all the social platforms, and I am trying to achieve peak optimization by figuring out the best protocols and do they actually work. So today I'm testing some omega-3 supplements to see if it actually helps me and makes me a healthier, happier person. I like Thorn and Momentus, which I'll have both linked down below, which these are high quality supplements. I wanna see, does it actually change my blood work and do I feel any different? Let's get on with this experiment. My first day doing this, uh, what I have to do is Plop one drop of blood and fill this entire circle. And I have to do that on my finger with a lancet. I have to sterilize it. <laughs> this is so hard. I've been pushing this off for like three months. <sighs> this is the hardest part, man. Let's just do it, get it over with. I've warmed my hands with warm water. I did some squats. I'm going to lancet this, clean it off, and then drop it on. A little bit of blood. A little bit of blood, okay. Now we squeeze. Oh no. Okay, I think that's enough blood, right? Nah, I don't want blood. So now we'll clean it off. We'll wipe it with an alcohol just to be safe. Ow, ow. And then we'll bandage it. Oof. Seal that bad boy up. Oh. Looking like a little science lab. Look at all that blood, baby. We're gonna let it dry before we finish it, and then we're gonna mail it back in this. A little envelope. And then we're gonna have to do this in three months. But until then, I'm gonna take an extremely high dose of omega-3s and see if it actually changes. So this is a one-to-one. -one. Uh, I'm gonna do 2.6 grams because these are 800 grams each. So it's 800 milligrams each. I'll take, that's two pills. So if I take six pills, that's 2.4 grams, which is about the one to two gram range that it seems like people are recommending online. And then we're gonna measure my blood and see what happens. But honestly, a bigger reason for this is just, I wanna see, will the supplementation help? One, and a lot of people talk about how omega-3 reduces inflammation. So as I start running, training for the London Marathon, is that gonna help minimize inflammation from high impact running like that? Like, is it actually gonna help me recover faster and prevent injury? And uh, that's pretty much it. Now we just gotta drop this off at USPS. All right, it is dropped off at the mailbox and now we just wait a very, very long time. Great. Now, a little background. Americans spend about a billion dollars on fish oil supplements every year, yet 84,000 people are dying yearly of omega-3 deficiency. And we hear from all these health influencers like Dr. Andrew Humerman, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, Peter Atia. Omega-3 supplements can lower your risk for cardiovascular disease, blood clots, Alzheimer's, dementia, macular degeneration, and sudden death, which I don't really want that last one. Omega-3 has been shown in clinical studies to blunt the postprandial post inflammatory response. When you take an omega-3 fatty acid in the form of fish oil, what you're getting essentially is the substrate for a lot of other important building blocks of nerve cells and other cells in the brain and body. And if you didn't know what an omega-3 is, it's an essential fatty acid that helps normalize inflammatory response. I started taking it because I was training for a marathon. I'm trying to do a sub three. It's a lot of intensive work and you're creating a lot of inflammation in your body just from training, working out, lifting weights and running. And I was like, what are the biggest, most powerful things that I can do to keep myself healthy? And omega threes has been a common thing across all of these big people. It's also a precursor for hormones and chemical messengers to build your cell membranes. And they're critical for healthy function of your entire body. And some people just aren't eating enough fish. So, you know, ideally you want to get it from real food, but taking omega-3 supplementation can potentially help, and I wanted to find that out. But first, I needed to get my baseline levels, and I found this test called Omega Quant, which measures your omega-3 index. It's like a complete report. So I did a test in January 2nd, 2024. I know this is a bit late to get my omega-3 index. And as you can see, my baseline was 8.32%. So this is kind of like a long-term status of your omega-3. Now, I did a test called Absolute Rest where I tested my sleep, and one of the things that we did in that test was check my omega-3s 
and the Omega Quant, you prick your finger and you drop a blood on the test, which we just saw. But this, te this test is at LabCorp, which is a facility you go in and they draw your blood through here. So I felt this might be a little bit more accurate. I actually did this test on December 3rd, 2023, which was before, but I wanted to see if the Omega-3, which was about a month prior to the Omega Quant test, but I wanted to see if this test was relatively close and I got a 6.1% on their Omega check, which, you know, it's above the ideal range but it was not as close to the 8% that we saw on Omega Quant. And these are kind of all of my other values, the EPA, Omega-6 total. Everything was within a healthy range, which I was happy about. And then my dihydrotestosterone, homocysteine. But I did notice the values were slightly off, so maybe there's like a 2% margin of error on this Omega Quant, or within that one month, my diet had changed and I had increased my Omega-3 levels before I even started the experiment. So I want to know, are these the best supplements and are they actually going to work? I decided to go with Momentus because they've sponsored the channel before, and I just had a whole bunch of free supplements that I had and I know they're high quality. So I was like, let's do it for this test. They are not sponsoring this video. And that's why I'm using Thorn and a Momentous. Like I'm not saying, hey, one of these two, and they're not paying me to share this data and make this happen. I'm doing this because I was purely just curious because if I saw it move the needle, then I'm more likely to keep taking that supplement. Now, Dr. Rhonda Patrick has a whole bunch of great Omega-3 supplement guides. I am not a doctor, I am not an expert, but I'll speak to some of the things that she says. We'll put in some clips about her. But her biggest thing is freshness. You want, you don't want to smell. You know, some of those omega-3s you'll get and it smells like fish. So if you're like, it smells like fish, not good. That's a low quality. You want, it needs to be higher bioavailable forms. This is the thorn one and they're kind of, they look like fish oil supplements, but they don't smell. Like I bought stuff from Amazon and every time I eat it, I'll burp like fish oil or when I open the bottle, it smells like fish oil. No, there's really only like three or four highly recommended fish oil supplements. Like if you're like, oh, I'll just buy the cheapest one from Amazon. Do not do that. Don't take fish oil or buy the high quality stuff. Eat healthy salmon, whole foods. Don't buy cheap supplements. That's my only thing that I ask of you. Do not buy cheap supplements. Do your research. And the last thing is concentration. You want to opt for higher omega-3s. So this one has about 425 milligrams of EPA, 270 milligrams of DHA, and they would say one gel cap. So I took three and then, and she also has a quant test spreadsheet uh, that's linked in the description, which includes purity potency from all the top suppliers, which I'll do that. Thank you, Rhonda Patrick. I'd actually love to have her on the podcast. So if anyone knows I can't touch, let me know. This is day one. I've taken two grams of omega-3. Um, this is kind of what the box says right there. I think it's like 800 milligrams. So I'm gonna do six pills, which would mean one, two, three, four. That means one of these bottles will last me like a day. So this is what all the pills are gonna look like. Jesus, okay, okay, okay. There we go. Look at all that right there. I'm gonna take all these. Wait, is that right? Two, four, six. Can you overdose from too much omega threes? Oh. What that? Within the first week, I started taking it, and with most supplements, I do not feel a difference. I did not feel a difference. So I was like, it just it feels the difference is that I feel like it's a hassle that I have to find the bottle, remember the bottle, take it every day. But I was like, I'm committed to the goal. We're making this video, and I want to see my blood work change because if my blood work changes, I will continue. So I had to get over the hurdle of like stay consistent and I kept the bottle at my desk. So every day I go, you know, do some computer work. I see the bottle that it's there. I remember building the habit of taking the supplement was probably the hardest step within that first week. Now I'm not a YouTuber, not a doctor once again, but I'll do my best to kind of break this down. There are three main types of omega-3 fatty acids, ALA, EPA, and DHA. So you're in fact around 80% of people globally don't even get enough e EPA and DHA. And in the US it's even higher. For some reason our diets are just awful guys. Let me fix it. We're at 95%. Well, now we all know fish is a great source of omega-3, but you need to be eating about six to eight ounces of fatty fish three, four, five times a week for it to be an efficient source to get enough to get to that level. And that's where it's like a lot. So supplementation is kind of like the next best like kind of backup scenario. So you really don't want to go and guzzle down 15 grams of Costco's fish oil every single day. Highly recommend you do your research, assess, experiment, do these omega quant tests to understand how your blood work is changing. This stuff is really hard to change. Even some elite athletes have low quality nutrition and aren't getting enough omega-3s. So don't worry, this is not gonna ruin your life. So it was February 15th, 2024, which I decided to take my second midway through test. And my new omega-3 index was much higher. It jumped up to 13.49%, which I was like, this is insane. We went from 8.32% to 13.49% in what, 30, 45 days. We are now, we went from the bottom end of desirable range to the top end by taking five grams of omega-3 every single day. Like we are elite, we're gonna take over the world. I am 
de-inflamed, I'm about to be the number one athlete in the world. But then I realized that maybe because I was actually taking the supplementation every day and I didn't pause for like three days, this number might have been higher, I'm so I'm not fully sure about that. That's why I decided when I do the final test, I'm gonna take a break of three days before the test to make sure that there's not a high level of omega-3 in my blood and we're getting a good average over the last few months. But the best part about seeing that 13.49 was that it kept me motivated. I was like, something's happening. I might not feel different. I might not notice the difference, but the numbers are changing. So let's finish those last 45 days. It's February 15th. This is the omega-3 complete index test. Day 45, six weeks in. Let's do this test, guys. Let's just get it over with. I hate doing these tests. <laughs> this is just so much. I have to register it. And then you gotta like bleed. <laughs> Time to increase blood flow, warm water. Supposed to do? <clears throat> Blood flow increase, no fish oil supplements or fish 12 hours before the test. Alcohol swallowed at the site. I'm gonna do my right side ring finger. For some reason, that just feels right. Circle, middle circle. Hold your finger circle, the blood is collecting circle. as a drop beneath the finger and positioned over the filter paper card. <sighs> okay, wipe it with a gauze pad, and then we're gonna milk the blood out, out of the finger. Oh, this should be fun. Uh oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got a little bit of blood. It says one small drop of blood. Now we gotta wait two weeks. The testing and the weeding are the hardest part of this. Now I gotta wear this bandage for a couple minutes, I don't know. All right, see you later. Now about 60 days, two months into the challenge, and I started to notice, you know, slight differences. Maybe I just didn't feel as inflamed. I was able to keep running a lot. I wasn't getting as many injuries, and I don't know how much of this was all correlated, but I felt good. I was like, my body just feels better. Maybe I'm just lower stress, I'm handling everything much better. So from an anecdotal point of view, I think I felt better. I was thinking I was just more happy than ever to see that my actual blood work had changed. All right, we just did the final test of the omega-3 quant. It is Friday, April 5th. Um, we just did the test. I had to kind of prick my finger here. Not the most enjoyable experience. I was dreading it, but I was like, we just got to need to get it done. So I just got it done. So finally, we can ship this off. We got to wait till the USPS opens about one hour, right on this with a pen. Um, got my finger pricked up here. But I'm excited to see the results. I'm a little nervous. Um, but this is, this is the hardest part. I hate pricking my finger on my own. I don't know. Some people, maybe it's easy. Today, it was a little bit easier. I just did it once. I squeezed it. Came out. Um, but I think we're good to go, and I'm gonna guess my omega-3 levels are gonna be pretty high, so we'll find out, but this pricking part, I just don't like pricking myself. Now, after 90 days of supplementing with omega-3 fatty acids or fish oil, I noticed overall, I just felt maybe slightly less, like, meh. I felt good. I think the biggest thing I, that I hear is like it reduces chronic inflammation. So I was like, okay, I'll keep taking it because I'm working out so much and I'm constantly trying to inflame my body that this is probably really helpful when I'm working out and being at my peak physical fitness. But the biggest deciding factor would be, will I keep taking the supplement? And that's based on the final test. Now, before we get into the number, I just want you to remember that we still don't know what the optimal omega-3 amount is. Dr. Rhonda Patrick, I think, has done the most research, has talked the most about it. And you do like one teaspoon of that, and that already gets you like above two grams. Hmm. So doing like two teaspoons, like one in the morning, one in the evening, I mean, then is you're that getting- that, that eight percentage you're talking about, or is that above that even? Oh, if you do, if you do, if you are doing more like four grams, that would be above that. Fish oil, if taken at dosages of one to three grams of EPA per day, can have a mild to moderate antidepressant effect. So I take fish oil. So by taking four of these capsules a day, I'm taking roughly two grams of EPA a day and probably a gram and a half of DHA. The reason I take that much is I'm treating to a dose. I'm treating to a red blood cell membrane concentration of EPA and DHA of about 12%. So that's a blood test you would do to say, I'm taking too much, I'm taking too little, here you go. I highly recommend that you go do your research, click the links in the description, read more about what she has to say. And there's a lot of factors, you know, they say it improves your skin, it improves your hair, nails. Even my doctor, actually, I got a sty once and the doctor said take fish oil because it helps with the glands in your eyelids to help get, you know, keep them clear and always kind of coming out. and 
it prevents dry eyes. So I started taking that and I have a less dry eyes. It feels like I haven't gotten a sty since I started taking Omega three, I almost get them in the winter every time. But when I take Omega threes, I don't get styes anymore so far. So that I think could be a potential value that I got. I decided that I'm just going to keep taking it because the final number of the Omega three quant test was 12.33%. I actually, this was collected on April 5th, 2024. We got the results about a week later. I was on the higher end of the green. So I was extremely excited about this new number. It was lower than the 13.49, which I got in the middle of the test, but I didn't make one major difference, which was making sure I didn't take the supplements three days before the Omega quant test. But still, we were on the high end of optimal. And now I've decided I'm gonna keep taking five grams. I don't do it every day. I try to do it whenever I remember. But so far, it's been so good. I get less styes, I feel good. And from a baseline perspective, this is one of my supplements that I'll keep taking. If you enjoyed this video, I do have a video where I tested viral testosterone supplements. I don't take those ads consistently, but it's a year later and I'm still taking omega-3 supplements from Thorn Momentous, which I will have linked down below. If you click those links, help support the channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, turn notifications, follow me on all the socials at Sherman Shares. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.